when travel plans don't go as expected. You know what? Just chalk it up to, hey, it is what it is. Make the most of the time that you do have back at home. And you know what? It's all right. I'm a homebody. I have plenty of things that I can be doing right now. You'll see that in an upcoming video. I got to get my stuff together. So today, let's just talk about some classics that were added to the closet. Now I have pulled back tremendously on pickups and a number of different things, whether it's sneakers, clothing, just again, random things. I've just haven't spent a whole lot, haven't picked up a whole lot. I'm forever grateful for the relationship, the kindness with New Balance. So if you guys recall prior to the Women's ESPNW Summit uh, two years ago now, um, I received this prior to the trip. So this is the 990 V five grade a pair absolutely gorgeous right now i know some people they had some reservations about the v5 because it does have more you know synthetic material and plastics on the upper of this versus the v4 and for me like the v4 edged out the v5 just in terms of overall aesthetic and then we came out with the v6 and when i first saw it i thought okay and we know action bronson he had his pair debut and then you had grade day and once I got these in hand, like side by side with the V5. Uh, do you guys remember also when I said, hey, are there five models that you would love to have? You could only have five models for the rest of your life. I said a V4, but I could also swap in a V5. I think now I may just need to update that to a V6. I may just need to update that to a V6. When you take a look at these two and the differences, I feel like there are subtle changes, right? In the overlays, the contouring, and the structure but it's all done just a little bit better. Hey, just gonna jump in real quick for an on-foot look at both the New Balance 990 V6 made in USA and the 990 V5 made in USA. Now, the difference in cushioning, the 990 V6 will introduce fuel cell into the midsole cushioning. So not only do you have end cap, but you also have fuel cell. So it just adds an extra bit of comfort. On foot, they're both going to be immensely comfortable. But if I had to pick one, if you're forcing me to choose one, then yes, I would go with the V6. Just gonna toss that out there. And then you'll see the V6 thrown on with just a super comfortable new balance fit lifestyle all the way the green and white tee and men size medium the made in usa sweats these are just so amazing this is also a men's medium for anyone wondering for the sizing and i think that's what you hope for the succession of a classic line still the amazing comfort like to me they they are just comparable in terms of comfort but i just think all the little nuances the placement that you have i mean even just in terms of like how they may have the 990 um on the sneaker itself i think if i had to pick one i would go with the manner in which they've done the 990 v6 itself but these are classics. These are pairs that I know people can't wait to have in their collection for years and years to come, enjoy them, throw them on, do anything. And in terms of the style, right, you can dress these up, you can dress them down. And I know the joke is from runway, you know, models on the runway to like the just dad every day on a Saturday. Yes, New Balance has been for everyone. It's certainly seen a just resurgence and a uh, new love by so many different people that maybe weren't into them in the past. Again, uh, DMV area, this has nothing to do with you all, okay? You guys have always loved New Balance and I will always credit you for that. But just in terms of it being a classic, yes, it's absolutely that, especially in gray. Now, what else is a classic, okay? Because we see trends come and go, you jump on, you jump off and in relation to like fear of god essentials i know so many people said oh well that was just a trend it's just a fad and people won't care about it i think based on your preference of the draping the fit and also the uh branding you may have found like that perfect era for you where you accumulated the essentials that you wanted for your closet to integrate for years to come whether it's like the dark um heather oatmeal sweats or light heather oatmeal sweats or a tee or a hoodie i think the most timeless items will be the sweatpants and the hoodies and then it just determines you know depends on what your fit preference is and you can go from there how do I feel about the new items? Well, you can go ahead and check out that video. It's in the description box because i um, not really feeling them. And I will go through everything there in that vid. But like uh, I wore actually these with the dark Heather Oatmeal, just the gray. The hoodie still has the print on the back and then the sweats classic fit threw on a pea coat and i'm good to go another classic that i think is good to have in your closet and i don't i know that some people are like hey 
Um, not a big denim person. Denim is timeless, right? A great denim jacket, it's timeless. Do I have too many? I do. We'll get to that in a different video. But denim is timeless and we know some brands, they just stand the test of time. That would also be Levi. So they had a blowout warehouse sale and I had never actually shopped their warehouse sale, but I said, you know what? Why not? Didn't own 501s. I now own 501s for $16 a pair when normally I think they were like $118. So if you know anything about style and fashion, not that I would ever think that like, oh my God, yeah, just listen to me. No, I'm just going to give you my take on it. You know, you know the number 501 and they will have different, you know, styles even for a 501 itself. But yes, I have those now in the closet and I just think, you know, just a great pair to have. I have quite a few and I'm being diligent. So again, if I move anything into the closet, then some things certainly need to leave and I'm doing good on that. I will continue to just put forth effort. So the most I've really... I has picked up this year, it's been 501 denim. It's been basic tees that you guys are seeing here in the video as well, whether it's like just a black, white, or gray that fit me really well and that I can integrate into anything. You know, all the time I don't wanna have something that is loud with insane branding on it. I just don't, I don't. Sometimes I just want something that is easy to toss on. It's really low key. And I think it is something that you would consider, right? Timeless right now at 34, I can throw on some Levi's. I can throw on just a white tee, a black tee, let's say New Balances and a pea coat and keep it moving. And guess what? That would still work years later. And I appreciate that. Not that my style would ever always, you know, like, not that it has to deviate totally from graphic tees or cargo pants. It doesn't. I can wear those at any age, right? You really do need to lean into whatever style is true and authentic to you. But I appreciate certain things a little bit more, right? And as I'm thinking of what to get rid of, I'm trying to think of what makes sense to keep long-term. So if you're also thinking along those lines uh, in relation to your closet, your wardrobe, your style, 2024, even how you're spending money in general, hey, go ahead and comment that below. I really appreciate any insight you guys provide just to see, you know, are we on the same page this year? I feel like a lot of us are on this channel. It's It's been nice to see you guys really tune in, I think, to the commentary um, in relation to it being kind of off the beaten path of sneakers. I am not the person to tell you, hey, don't sleep on this pair. I'm not. I'm more than likely to tell you, please sleep, get that rest, okay? I know life is hard. Enjoy a great cup of coffee and think about, hey, instead of buying this pair, what can that go towards that I would really enjoy, right? In terms of an experience. So that's just where I am right now. So make the most of this weekend or hopefully you made the most of your weekend. I certainly tried to with creating, trying to decompress from work, the Super Bowl, everything, all right? And I have a great new comfortable pair of 990 V6, <laughs> gray day that I can uh, toss on whenever. So really appreciate you guys tuning into any and all videos and is there a Jordan that would ever make me retire from sneakers? Well, you can watch that video next. It should be up on the screen. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.